All right, guys, it's nasty, it's windy, it's cold. We thought we'd shoot another, just a short video on some tools. Today we're talking about the post vise. Post vise, snake vise, blacksmith vise, uh, and why we use them. If you can find one, why you want one. Okay, this is an old Cleveland vise that I have on this stand. I made a stand for it to hold all these different hardy tools from my anvil because your vise is never far from your anvil. I have a turning wrench we use for doing twists. I have my punches and things that do my animal heads. I have some files, another hammer, some other turning wrenches. But the vise itself, this one I have raised up so that, because I can't see, <laughs> but so I can Bring it up when I'm doing the animal heads, this vise is up higher than normal, okay? If you're going to build your vise stand, I would recommend on the base of it, build it where you can stand on it. Okay, I have some that go outside that I can actually stand on the base that's holding it. So this vise is like in the corner and I'm standing on it. I'm not going to be able to flip myself over working my vise. If I'm standing on the base, you just put 300 pounds on your base for doing your twist. You're not gonna, you're not gonna flip yourself over. Okay, these vices, they're old. Uh, there's lots of different companies. This one, just to give you some dimensions, this is a four and a half inch jaw post vise. Okay, it's four and a half inches. The height on them, they all vary. I have quite a few of these vices. This one happens to be 42 and a half. Okay. They're all different. They're all different. I have some that are much larger and I have some that are actually much smaller. They're like a three inch. Okay. This one I find myself using a whole bunch. I made it years ago and put it together on the stand to be portable to go with some of my stuff. But the leg vise, these are these are punched and drifted. These are old. You're not looking at cast steel stuff. This hole that's in here where the screw goes through, these are punched and drifted out. You know, they're awesome. Made on big old steam hammers and stuff. Things to look for when you find one. If your jaws are true, like when they close, are they pretty close up here? Are they flush? The biggest thing is the jaws, we can fix the jaws in the body of the vise. The biggest thing is the screw down here. This screw that holds this thing shut and open is a square, square Acme type thread. It's square, okay? In this casing is the thread. This is like a nut. It is a nut for this thread to keep that jaw in and keep it tight, okay? This is a spring, piece of spring steel, that just holds the jaw open, keeps that tension on it. I have and do have some other vices, and they just have a spring from here to here like a coil. You're not going to be opening this a ridiculous amount. They'll go a long ways. Okay, they'll go a long ways until the screw comes out. But usually you're not working stock this big in this size of a vice. So this springs, it's just enough to hold it open, get your part in, get it shut, okay? The reason they call them a leg vise, your post vise, is this long leg right here, going all the way down. If you worked in a dirt floor shop, that would be down probably in another piece of wood or a base, but it hits, it goes all the way to the ground. This is why we want these. I have several cast iron vices. I have some very old Prentice and Bulldogs. I got some, I got some old vices, machines type vices, right? They're cast, they're awesome, they're very good. They're not built for hammering it. The impact, the vibration will go into the case of those and you're gonna, you're gonna wreck them. These are built for hammering in, not for hammering on. No, oh, that's tool abuse. You get in trouble. <laughs> it's built for hammering in. When your part is in here, just like your anvil, you can cinch down on these. They have a little bit of flex in these jaws. 
they're going to grab on tight and you can hammer in this your force your vibration your energy whatever you want to call it is going to work its way it has somewhere to go it goes down this leg if you're hammering on these and you touch your leg on here and you hit these you can feel it in your foot it's going to run down. The energy has somewhere to go. That's the beauty of these. You can beat the living crap out of something in one of these. I have abused some of these vices. The turtles, I've clenched them down in here and come over with a four pound hammer and just beat the life out of that turtle. Getting the shells, getting different things in here. These are tough. They're made to hammer in. They're made to work. That is why you would want one, and that is how they work, is that vibration, that energy has somewhere to go. Now, that being said, you still need to respect your tools. I don't know another way for it. This is a small vice. It's gonna, it has its limits. It has its size variations. You don't want to take a big hammer and be beating the crap out of stuff on this. You need to know what you're doing. If it's sliding through, you can put stuff in your vise horizontally and tap down tenons and things like that. These are old, but they're made to be used. Okay, you'll find most of them by barns and stuff like that. They're so rusted. They're very simple design. Usually you can get them freed up, straightened up, get them to work. Okay, let me take you to the other one. Like I said, we got lots of vices. <laughs> we got lots of vices and vices. Okay, this is another one I use in the shop a lot. It's much larger. It's touching the floor on this piece of wood. It's attached to the table so it can't move. Uh, it's a little stiffer. It's just a little bigger if I'm doing bigger work. This is the one that I come over to. This one is five and three quarters. So not a whole lot big, bigger, but it is. Okay, the cool thing about this one, the styles, a lot are the same, your same spring, your leg, everything's just heavier, it's got a lot more meat to it. A lot of these, like a lot of your old tools that are handmade, steam hammered and forged and everything like that, they put information on them. Now these jaws have been welded in and everything like that, I, I don't have any problems with it, as long as they're lined up. The neat thing about this particular vise and several of the others we have, it has the weight. So how much this vise actually weighs is stamped right here. You can read better than me. Mary was at 90. Mm -hmm. And then just up above it, right here, is the date. Yes, that's correct. It's 18... 97 okay so that's the date that's the weight so if you go to look at some of these and somebody's selling it by the weight you know and they say oh he's a it's like anvils like any sort of say, oh weighs 700 pounds <laughs> we, some of them a lot of them have the weight right here and several that i have have the weight and the date stamped up here so i have to chalk it different things like that and you'll see if you can see the the year the date and how much it weighs is right there. Okay. There's tons of different brands. If you're interested in the different brands, the jaw styles, a lot are the same, but you'll find different. Peter Wright has these big cups that cover the whole screw. Um, but again, these are your vice you can hammer in. I have both styles of vices, more of a machinist bench type vice, but we have these leg vices. These are the ones we go to work in. Even just tapping them they vibrate they they give somewhere for all your energy to go all right guys so hope you enjoy it just a little information on the leg vice hopefully you can find any one of these old vices put it back to work or if you got one hopefully you're using it and you just love it but that's what they are that's the leg vice post vice backspin vice and uh, we'll shoot some more stuff on some tools i got a whole bunch of different tools we got wheel rut stuff we got um, some swedge blocks like this stuff down here I got I got a lot of different stuff we'll shoot some videos explaining showing a little bit about more of the tools and uh, some of the history about them 
Good stuff. So until next one, hope you guys are having fun. Let's go.